Not every city that was built was meant to last forever, and there are many abandoned places across the world that seem prosperous enough to last for a while. Due to the unpredictability of natural disasters and limited resources, some of these places we're about to mention could be the next to go. From some places around the world that will eventually sink into the ocean, to other places that will eventually be a victim of a volcanic explosion, here are cities that will disappear by 2200. Number 12. Naples We're all familiar with Mount Vesuvius as being the volcano that destroyed the city of Pompeii in 79 AD. But in modern times, the volcano was certainly capable of causing more destruction, with about 3 million people in Italy living near the volcano and about 300,000 of them living in the red zone, it's certainly the most dangerous volcano in all of Europe. It's only 7.5 miles away from the city of downtown Naples. Take a look at this thing on Google Maps and you'll notice it's basically surrounded by people and houses. Scientists also claim that this active volcano is much overdue for an explosion. About two millennia ago, we saw it plaster people into human statues. Who's to say that this won't happen again? And what kind of devastation would that eruption have caused if it happened now? Number 11. Banjul, Gambia The small African nation of Gambia might want to move their capital more inland due to the risk of it going underwater in the near future. Currently, the city is about a meter above sea level, and experts predict that this could be just a little bit too low. All it would really take is a big tropical storm, and this place could be a goner. The country is also trying to combat the problem of soil erosion, which refers to the wearing away of fields' topsoil from wind or too much agriculture. Poor farming practices here could definitely lead to a lack of food and resources in the future, which might cause many to flee in that case. Number 10. The City of Timbuktu Located on the southern edge of the Sahara in the middle of the country of Mali is where you'll find the historical city of Timbuktu, which is basically turned into dust. It's used in expressions describing a really far away place, but it actually does exist and it's under threat of disappearing due to drought and desertification. Between the 12th and the 14th century, this city thrived and was extremely wealthy from trade in salt and ivory. It became possibly the most important medieval city in the continent of Africa and is UNESCO World Heritage Site. The historical importance is undeniable, but the fertile land that allowed for it to thrive is turned into dry desert which makes it nearly impossible to grow food. Farmers are slaughtering their camels for food since there is no longer grass to feed their cattle. The difficult task of living on land which is going through the process of desertification could prove to be too much and Timbuktu could simply become dust in the wind. Number 9. Mexico City Imagine living in a city where every drop of water you drink causes your city to slowly sink. Kind of makes it a confusing situation. Due to poor infrastructure, only about 60% of rainfall can be used for drinking water, which gets used at a faster rate than it can be replenished. The massive volcano known as Popocatapetl is the third tallest active volcano in the world and it's only 40 miles away from the capital city of Mexico with nearly 20 million inhabitants in the metropolitan area. It just seems like a disaster waiting to happen. Over 80 years of being dormant, its last large explosion was in the year 2000, causing tens of thousands of people to relocate. This is also capable of melting a large amount of snow, creating enormous mudslides into the city below. With the peak reaching 17,802 feet, it certainly has a lot of ice that could melt. Number 8. Seattle what might appear to be a beautiful mountain in the state of Washington is actually an active volcano that could potentially destroy the nearby cities of Seattle and Vancouver. While it might be capped with snow and seem dormant, it's the location of numerous explosions within the past 500 years. Its last explosion was in 1894, when just minor eruptions were reported. Due to its sheer size, it's easily big enough to produce massive amounts of ash to begin whirling around in our atmosphere. Don't forget about the massive avalanches that would begin to follow after an initial eruption. Volcanoes that erupt through ice create what's known as lahars, or basically melted mud flow of volcanic sludge, capable of destroying anything in its path and flooding entire cities. The U.S. Geological Survey shows that Rainier is one of our nation's most dangerous volcanoes, and even the slightest eruption could bring on massive amounts of destruction and panic of the highly populated areas. They also state that the volcano is certainly capable of exploding with little to no warning, so watch out. Number 7. New York City The great city of Atlantis was rumored to once exist and is now completely underwater somewhere. Great Egyptian cities have been discovered underwater after being victims of landslides and floods. So there's no reason to doubt Mother Nature's ability to completely submerge large metropolitan areas. Similar to Venice in a sense, the majority of the city is on an island. 
1.64 million people live in Manhattan, and it's the most densely populated of the New York boroughs. It's also the most vulnerable to a major flood. Ignorance is bliss, and most people at NYC don't even want to think about it. But with the rising of the oceans and the crazy storms we've seen lately, it's just a matter of time before New York gets hit with a big one. Subways could flood, taxis will be trapped with water, tunnels could collapse, and complete doom. Experts claim that just a five-foot rise in sea level would submerge LaGuardia Airport. It would also flood the barrier islands as well as large portions of Manhattan, so watch out. Number 6. New Orleans New Orleans is one of America's most historical cities and could become history within the next century. It's not just the spooky cemeteries and old buildings that you can explore here in this town. Hurricane Katrina unleashed her fury on the Big Easy in 2005, and you can still experience some of the damage on Google Earth. Some parts are still in the reconstruction process, but many hit-hard areas still appear to look like ghost towns. New Orleans also has a major setback of being at an extremely low elevation and built on marshy soil. It will only continue to shrink for the rest of its time on Earth, or until it's eventually underwater. Reminders of the devastating hurricane like this abandoned house are scattered throughout. Could New Orleans survive another hurricane like Hurricane Katrina? Number 5. Las Vegas Lake Mead, Nevada is dropping to extreme lows and has dramatically shrunk over the past 15 years. In this photo, you can easily see where the water levels once were in 1936. The lake has lost more than half of its water and is only at about 37% capacity. The population in this desert city has exploded as well, and many wonder if the lake will be gone by the year 2200, if not sooner. Of course, if it gets too low, people will be forced to use less water. The white parts of the lake is what's known as a bathtub ring and is created from deposited minerals that were previously submerged surfaces. It can only be a matter of a few decades until this lake has completely vanished, wiping out Las Vegas' water supply. Number 4. Miami Miami has been hit hard by hurricanes before in the past and somehow has managed to survive being completely flooded. But when will this multicultural hotspot be hit by one that's big enough to completely destroy it? The city of Miami and Miami Beach sit at an extremely low elevation, which was basically swampland before people decide to show up. Many people take the risk of living in this infamous beach town, trying to forget that one big storm could bring their demise. Streets of Miami Beach are beginning to flood during high tide as well. Many believe that even if predictions about rising sea levels are wrong, Miami could become uninhabitable in 100 years or less. Might as well just party it up before the ocean reclaims her territory. Number 3. Ivanovo, Russia Once the district capital city of Ivanovo Oblast, this city was commonly referred to as the City of Brides due to its unbalanced female-to-male ratio. It was home to many textile factories which brought in a lot of women for work, but as the Soviet Union crumbled, Ivanova went into decline. When they had to compete with China, there were simply less jobs available, so people began to seek work elsewhere. A majority of their inhabitants resettled in Moscow, which is about a five-hour drive away. This trend seems to be still popular to this day, with many people leaving the town to go attend college elsewhere. Although it shows some signs of revitalization, it seems as though it will become abandoned sometime before the 23rd century. Number 2. Jakarta, Indonesia With 261 million people, Indonesia is becoming a rapidly growing nation both economically and by population. From 1960 to the mid-1990s, the population here doubled from 100 million to 200 million and they've continued to grow ever since. The rapid growth has taken its toll on the environment like many of these countries. The Sidiram River, near the capital city of Jakarta, is labeled as one of the most polluted rivers in the world. Pollution certainly isn't the only thing that this capital city has to worry about though either. It's actually the fastest sinking city in the world according to the BBC, and if something isn't done, major sections of it could go completely submerged by the year 2050. Some even predict at the rate it's sinking now, nearly 95% of it could go underwater. The land next to it has a much higher elevation which flows downward and into the city. In western Jakarta, it's sinking at an annual pace of 10 to 15 centimeters each year. Similar to Mexico City, another reason why it's sinking is because the water below it is used for drinking water. Throw in the possibility of it being hit by a volcano, an earthquake, or tsunami, there's a pretty good chance that Jakarta will be completely gone by 2200. And number 1. Detroit the trend seems to be rather clear. People are leaving Detroit at a much faster pace than people actually moving there. It almost seems as though this city will never be the bustling motor city it once was. Many families were struck hard by the economic collapse in 2008. Many houses, factories, and shops were left abandoned as a result. 
In the neighborhood of Ravendale, two out of every three houses are abandoned. Some sources even claim that you can buy an entire unburned house here for $1,000. Detroit is seemingly a victim of outsourced labor going overseas where corporations pay a fraction of what they would on American soil. At its peak, Detroit had a population of 1.85 million, but now has dwindled down to 701,000, losing over a million people. 